This is Martin Searle, the Police and Crime Commissioner for Gloucestershire. His job is to develop police and crime strategy for the county, act as a link between the police and the public and hold Gloucestershire Constabulary to account. Government legislation recently gave police and crime commissioners the funding to research the governance of fire and rescue services with a view to becoming police, fire and crime commissioner. Governance is what a good manager does. It's keeping a careful eye on the books and making sure the fire service runs efficiently for the benefit of the community so that it does what it says on the tin. Our emergency services in Gloucestershire already work very closely together, but the government wants even closer collaboration, and that's what Martin wants too. In 2017, independent research was commissioned to see if changes should be made to how Gloucestershire Fire and Rescue Service is governed. Analysis showed that of the four options available, the one that offered the most benefits was the governance model. This would mean Martin taking on responsibility for governing GFRS. The Chief Fire Officer would still be in control of the fire service day to day, just as the Chief Constable runs the police. The Commissioner's job would be to oversee budgets and strategy decisions while holding both Chiefs to account. By bringing both under the same governance, improvements could be made in a number of areas. Sharing knowledge and best practice, sharing support and enabling services, smarter use of buildings and other resources, ability to plan and respond to Gloucestershire's communities better together. Under this model, transparency, effectiveness and public safety would also improve. At the moment, Gloucestershire Fire and Rescue Service is a department within Gloucestershire County Council. That means it doesn't have a clear set budget, which makes it difficult for the service to plan for the future. GCC also governs the fire service as the Gloucestershire Fire Authority, which is made up of all 53 members of the County Council. Councillors objected to Martin's first proposal for governance and vetoed the option of representation, which would have seen him sit alongside them as an equal partner. Furthermore, concerns have been raised recently about the way the Council governs GFRS, from whistleblowers who work within the service and an internal audit report leading Martin to believe the case for the reform is even stronger. If the governance model is accepted outwardly, nothing would appear to change. Police officers will still be police officers, and fire officers still fire officers, each with their own unique roles and identities. Each service would remain distinct, with its own chief, and they would operate separately. Where appropriate, there would be increased collaboration between the services – With a dedicated budget, GFRS would be able to plan for the future, where fire money is used to run the fire service. What's more, compared to other governance models, the change would be easy to implement, and in the mid to long term, offer more cost benefits. The final decision will ultimately be made by the Home Secretary, but Martin wants to know what you think of his proposal. Please take some time to tell us, by completing our online survey, emailing or writing to us. The deadline for this public consultation is Friday the 21st of December 2018.